Hi there, we're going to be talking today about inline hardware keyloggers. Now, software keyloggers are relatively easy to detect, uh, and indeed uh, USB-based, so for example, Teensy-based keyloggers are, can be detected to a point with some USB port control products. What we want to look at is inline keyloggers. Now, this keyboard we bought from um, eBay, it actually matched one that a client asked us to, uh, to go and um, insert uh, a keylogger into. Um, I want to show you how straightforward it is to capture information and how difficult it is to detect it. So here's an example, just uh, this is a, a keylogged keyboard we've got. Uh, very straightforward to use. So I'm just typing away, I'm doing my normal stuff, maybe I'm logging into an RDP box. Let's see if we can catch some passwords. Hey, I don't particularly want to remember that, but there we go, so that's one of our junk accounts. And yes, we will be changing the password later. Um, so we've logged in, we've captured something straightforward. All I have to do is go through a particular keystroke, which you can customize in this particular case. Give it a moment, and this should now start to fire up the, the key logger so I can now access it. And we're going to wait for that to fire up in a browser. So back to my file browser over here, and we'll just wait for it to pop up. There you go, so it's starting to arrive. We now have the key logger connected to ourselves, so I can go and look at this, and I can now start to dump the data. And you see, I've actually got loads of stuff in there from um, my recent login activity. And yes, of course, we will be blatting the password. I thought it might be quite fun to actually show you how this works. So all I have to do, get my trusty screwdriver, which of course is the most important device for our hardware engineer. Um, and you'll see how straightforward it is. That over, dismantle it, get rid of the membrane, because that gets in the way. And here is our keylogger. It's in line, so it's very difficult to detect. Very straightforward bit of kit. Um, you see there's a simple uh, SD card on there, micro SD card that can um, record up to two gigabytes of, uh, of keystrokes. And that's been a really useful way for us when we're out doing penetration testing of actually gathering customers' passwords. Hope you found it interesting.